Hello YouTubers, I'm back, one of them videos today, fortunately it's pretty late at night and uh, I thought I've got to do a video because I can't get upstairs to my normal place so we're just going to do it here, show you the bits that I've purchased uh, over the uh, last few weeks and a month, a uh, couple of months. The first one is from Russia, I've always wanted this and uh, finally found one online. A nice genuine piece of leather to put my pipe and dry my tobacco out on. Really cool. Oh, shaking the camera. What's the back of it? Front of it. Very nice. Nice and uh, soft. Get your tobacco. Bend it, slide it back in the jar. Very nice. So I got that from uh, Russia. Then the uh, Danish Pipe Shop. Uh, one of the blends I can't show you. Well, I may be able to get it. First one, I got the My Own Blend 100 Gram River Plug. A nice uh, crown on the top. Don't know what the date is. I think I've written the 18th for the first. It was around about there somewhere, and I, I received it. So this is good. <gasps> That's gonna go in the cellar. Shan't be opening that anytime soon, even though it is in this style of can. We'll see in a year or two's time if it has dried out. <laughs> yeah, got that. Three more of them bad boys. Baron's H and H vintage, vintage Searing. I got the Amphora Virginia as well, which was uh, sounded quite appealing to me when I seen Jason Dagner uh, smoke it. And uh, the only place I could get it is the Danish pipe shop. Uh, nobody else in the UK sells that one. They sell the others, but not the Virginia, the yellow pouch. And why that is, I don't know. So, yeah, that was all the stuff from the Danish pipe shop. Three, four, and then four, and then five tobacco left. And now for HU, tobacco's from Germany. Some more pipe cleaners, nice uh, man on the front, some big ass titties. <laughs> I don't know if it's a woman or a man, I mean, look at it. All right, miserable bastard. And it looks like the bolt is like a fucking German helmet, it's that big. And a white elephant, he is. Slightly different variation in color. As you can see, well, they're both uh, going to do the job of cleaning the bowls. I'll just use these one. And these are thin, extra thin as well, because I need to pack of them for some of my pipes. So, yeah. Pipe cleaners. And on the website, I ordered what I thought was going to be a tin, because the web shite, web, web shite? <laughs> the website um, shows this particular blend in the tin still so I think they need to update the picture as as to what you get is a, a pouch which if I knew that I wouldn't have bought it so it's a little bit misleading and uh, I think all websites should you know update accordingly to how it's going to come to the end customer you know but I, I've had this but I've not had it for a long time. So I may jar that. Actually, there's 50 grammar. Uh, that. I've heard a lot about this. But this this going to be aged in uh, going in the cellar. Hamburger Fear Master. Apparently, that's not a B, it's a V. But 
It looks like a B to me, but I've heard really good things about this. A good Virginia Flake, so that's going to be aged. And another one uh, that I got a bit disappointed because I didn't get the tin with the actual um, picture of the uh, the bird on the front. It's just like a crappy piece of cutout sticker st stuck onto the actual tin with a cot robin 50 gram. Sounds interesting. Uh, I always read the blend description. So that sounds appealing to me. Uh, that kind of a blend. So we've got one of them, that's 50 gram, and 100 gram gold of Mysore. This is a Virginia, uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah, it's Virginia, and I think it's got something else in there as well, but really appealing. It's, I always read, like I say, I always read the blend descriptions, and this sounds right up my alley, so I know that I'll like it. I always read the blend description of what the tobacco has in, you know, and I'm, uh, I'm going to be good to go. It's always worked for me doing that, that, that way. So that, and last but not least, foundation by uh, Musico Makua. Makua, hundred gram. This is a burly blend, so I've only got Carter Hall. That's a, a burly blend, I think, at the moment. So I need more burly blends, paint style. Right? Yeah. And that's it. That's all my purchases of uh, tobacco. Uh, I bought. Said I wasn't gonna buy no more jars, but you know, you know this hobby. <laughs> So I got some proper original ball mason jars. Sorry about the reflection. Proper ball quilted texture. It's it's called a quilted. Very nice. I love these. I love these. Uh, this fit fifty gram perfect. Hundred gram you're struggling, but you can. Probably get 100 gram, but leave yourself four, five bowls. Even though you do sh pack it down every time you go to fill more tobacco in them, but these are really good off of Amazon. A good price as well. Uh, and while I'm here, got some a bit different now, because I spoke about it, but I've never showed it yet. I don't think. This is my K Fun V5 clone rebuildable that I've built my own coil in. That's from Mav to Long. I think it holds 3.5 mil or 4 mil of liquid. Really good. Really good uh, tank that is. That's got Yelip Turkish in. Mmm, delicious. You can see the inscribing on the tank in there. Yeah, a little bit. Yep. Got that. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd do the video like this, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, as short as it's gonna be. Um, and uh, you know, because if if I didn't do the video like this tonight, then I wouldn't have done a video at all. So I thought, well, yeah, I want to do a video for you guys. And show you the bits and bobs that I've uh, been purchasing over the over the last week, the last couple of weeks and a month, month ago. And I've had the Danish pipe shop order the longest. Let's see if I show you the uh, amphora. Put it in one of them new jars. Oh yes, here we go. That come in a pouch. That's fifty gram. It's a ready rub broken, like a ready rub broken flake. Very soft, nice. Yeah. That 
was also from the DPS. So guys, yeah, I should uh, hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're uh, going to have a nice uh, international pipe smoking day. Um, maybe we'll sort some out for tomorrow. Uh, not going to promise anything, but it, um, yeah. Um, uh, thank you for watching, guys.